So sometimes um, in the nautical world or navigation, um, probably for airplanes too, I think they use it too, they will talk about what's called a bearing. So a bearing is a measurement, and there's two different ways to do it. One, you can measure from the north. So say, say this is the line north, oops, the line north, and they're going to measure clockwise, like say 58 degrees. So then you, if a plane, can you pretend like this is a plane flying or a duck? Anyway, if it's at a bearing of 58 degrees, then that's the angle that, that we have right here is the 58 degrees, okay? So they'll say uh, they took a sight of a ship or a plane and it was at a bearing of so many degrees, okay? So these are bearings from the north. So you could have a bearing of like, um, 210 degrees. And so from the north, you would go 210 degrees. So you'd go, well, I kind of started up too high here. Let me change that. All right. I would do a little bit smaller in your diagrams you'd want to, but you're going to have to go 180 and then another 30 degrees. And so that bearing would be off this way and your 210 degrees would be right there. You can imagine, you know, the, the extension of that north line. Okay. So when you do these problems, when they talk about bearings, you want to make sure you make and label a good sketch. That is the key to these problems. Okay. And it's not always easy. Okay. So here comes an example. Radar stations A and B are on an east-west line, 3.7 kilometers apart. Okay, so there's these radar stations, A and B. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit this all on here, but I'll put A right there. And it's an east-west line, so I'm gonna put B over here. Now, sometimes in the book or in the example, they will give you a diagram. That's very helpful. All right. These two radar stations are 3.7 kilometers apart. Okay, so we're trying to make our sketch here, our diagram. Station A detects a plane at C of, on a bearing of 61 degrees. Okay, so think about, sometimes I'll just use like a dotted line to represent the north. And then we're going 61 degrees, so maybe that far. And there's a bearing there. And we're seeing an airplane. An airplane. Like, like that, kind of. You can draw a good airplane. Okay, that's point C, though, is where the airplane's at. And what do we know this angle is? 61 degrees. And that's all we know. Okay, at the same, or station B simultaneously, or at the same time, detects the same plane. So this, is the B station also sees that plane. Oh, that's a much better line. Okay, um, its bearing is 331. So think about the north. I'm probably going to have to scroll up a little bit to get this in. So we're going to go 300, okay, that would be 180 right there, and that would be 270. And so I need to go, what, another like 61 degrees? Okay. Well, that kind of tells us all of it right there, doesn't it? Okay, so if if this is, um, you know, 180 here, and I didn't switch over, 180 degrees here, so that's 180. And then you've got another 90 degrees there, so that's 270. And then the bearing was 331, right? So what's 331 minus 270? Well, they didn't want to write it that way. What's, uh, no, I'll put it in purple. What's 331 minus 270? 
And do you know where we're getting that 270? Because this is an east-west line right here. So that's going to be perpendicular to your north. This is the north that we're taking our bearing from. And then you've got that east-west line that's perpendicular. So that's why we're going around 270 degrees to get to here. And then we want to know what's that angle at B. Well, it turns out it's 61 degrees, okay, which is very helpful. Now, you also know that this angle here is a complement to angle A, which was 61, making that 29 degrees, right? Okay, so, and we, okay, if this is 29 degrees and this is 61 degrees, those are complementary, then this has to be a right angle. So I'll let you think about that a minute, but the angles of a triangle have to add up to angle A plus angle B plus angle C have to add up to 180. That's true for all triangles. So if two of them are adding up to um, like A and B, that's 90 degrees, then your C also has to be 90 degrees. Okay, you can just do that, figuring that out. Okay, that means it's a right triangle. Yay, that means we can use trig. <laughs> okay, so what angle do you want to use and what are you trying to find? Well, you're trying to find the distance from A to C. So we're trying to find this side right here. That is what we want to know. Um, let's call that B, okay? Because when we label triangles, it would be lowercase b across from angle B. Okay, so we're trying to find B. What do we know? Well, if your right angle is here at C, then this here is the hypotenuse. So you know the hypotenuse. And you're trying to find b right here well if you're using angle 61 degrees so let's say you're using angle b okay then you're talking about the opposite over the hypotenuse so it would be the sine of angle b would be the opposite over the hypotenuse so now we can start figuring things out. We can say, we know what B is, right? Angle B, we know it's 61 degrees, and we know that the opposite side, well, that's what we don't know, the opposite side. So this is the opposite side over here. And then we know the hypotenuse is that 3.7. I don't know if you can see it, 3.7 kilometers. Okay, so let's put this all in. We're gonna say the sine the sine of 61 degrees is equal to opposite b, lowercase b, over 3.7. Now, we're going to put this in our calculator in a minute. If you multiply both sides by 3.7, so you're just multiplying by 3.7 here and 3.7 here, you're trying to solve for b, then you're going to say that 3.7 times sine of 61 degrees is equal to, and that's going to be our answer, that's B. Okay, so B is equal to 3.7 times sine 61 degrees. Now, um, make sure when we go to the calculator that you're in degree mode. Okay, so let me see how accurate they want it. Oh, well, what do we have for significant digits? 3.7 and 61, those are two significant digits. And then the 331 would be three significant digits, but you go by the least. So we want two sig significant digits. Two sig dig. That's how I usually just put it, significant digits. Okay, so I find my calculator. Let me find that. Turn it on, make sure I'm in, um, yep, I'm in uh, degree mode, so clear that out, clear that out. And I'm just going to type 3.7 sine, six, it opens a parenthesis, 61. So it looks like 
it, the only thing that's different is they do on my cal my calculator there's a parenthesis there and i can close that off you don't put in the degree symbol that's not gonna be available okay so it looks like i'm getting 3.2 And then there's a bunch of numbers, 3609. But 3.2 is two sig digs. So that is kilometers. I'm going to say that's my answer right there, 3.2 kilometers.